development of mathematics. And just a few words uh, from me uh, before we start. If you haven't been uh, into the town of Aberystwyth yet, though you really should, uh, this is the old college on the seafront, uh, which is where the university started 150 years ago. Uh, you are all mathematicians, uh, you'll be saying 1872 from 2023 is not 150 years. It's the academic year in which the university started. So no pedants, uh, at least for the next 10 minutes, and then you may start. Uh, so the university was established 1872 from donations uh, from the people of Wales. Uh, and so it was very much, the expression is public subscription. People went door to door with a pot asking for donations. And if you want to read uh, more about the history of the university, uh, the title of the book that's been published for the 150th anniversary is Pennies of the People. That's how the university came into being. If you want to read uh, more about mathematics, uh, we've just um, written some uh, what we call vignettes of uh, former heads of departments. I'll bring some copies down to the foyer later. Uh, so we have been teaching uh, mathematics here for 150 years, starting in the old college and now uh, in this building. Uh, so the old college on the seafront was in fact built as a hotel. As you've seen, Aberystwyth is a seaside town. People come here for their holidays. Uh, the train line was built from Birmingham. Many of you used it yesterday. And then somebody said, we must have a hotel when people come to Aberystwyth. The Castle Hotel was built on the seafront and very quickly uh, went bankrupt. That was an opportunity for the university to get a very fine building at a very reasonable price. And so the university was started. It was called University College Aberystwyth. So it was the first institution as part of the Federal University of Wales. So many of you will have heard of Cardiff and Swansea, University of Bangor, and <coughs> there are now others who form or formed the Federal University of Wales, which is now essentially disbanded and we've all become independent. To start with, there, are, there were three members of staff, one of whom was the principal, the other uh, was uh, teaching uh, <coughs> classics, uh, Greek and Latin, and the third uh, was a mathematician. And then in 1963, uh, we moved up to this building where you find yourself now. It was award-winning. Uh, so the then head of department had to bring the typewriter for the mathematics department up from the old college to this building. And he remembers it. Alan Morris still lives in Aberystwyth. Uh, what was special was it has Latin characters and Greek characters. Only the mathematicians wanted this. So they had to have their own typewriter. And then the building was uh, so <coughs> inspirational that it was put on a stamp. Uh, so if anybody has come from Southampton, Leicester or Essex, I still think we've got the best building. <laughs> but we're also the cheapest. And I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> As <coughs> many of you will have experienced in your own institutions, uh, over time uh, the the way in which the mathematics department is formed uh, tends to vary. So we started off as one department in 1872, uh, and in fact the then head of department grimly uh, not only taught mathematics, he taught astronomy and chemistry. Um, but we were one department. And then